My name is Jen Hobby Rivera, better known as Reese and Lauren's mom and Grant's wife. And our daughter Reese is a cancer survivor. The first signs that there was something going on is she became really uncomfortable in her car seat and would fuss and cry every time she was in her car seat. And we thought that was really strange. And her dad and I were like, this is the most easygoing, happy baby. But we had been worried for months because we couldn't figure out what was going on with her. So at the time of her diagnosis, when they found what it was, it was stage four cancer. It's the worst day of your life as a parent. It was our greatest fears confirmed when the doctors sat across from us after her MRI and said, it's cancer. When you hear those words from a doctor, time stands still and everything else just stops because you become entirely focused on your child's recovery. My name's Ryan Summers. I'm a pediatric oncologist in my day to day. Um, so I take care of kids with cancer, and in the rest of my time, I spend doing research, aiming to develop new cures, new therapies, with the hope of improving outcomes for children with cancer. One of the greatest joys of my job is the time that I get to spend in the clinic and on the inpatient unit, taking care of children and their families with pediatric cancer diagnoses. It gives me an opportunity to meet families in one of their darkest moments and provide some kind of a light, some kind of hope, just a touch point of this person is gonna be there fighting with me throughout this journey. And my goal really is to make the lives of these children better. So Reese was 10 months old when she was diagnosed with the germ cell tumor, and we were immediately admitted into the hospital. And we were there on and off for four months of several rounds of chemotherapy. And then at the end of that, the surgeon was able to go in and remove it. So she had to heal for a little while. And then when we got the MRI results, the doctor called and said, no residual signs of tumor which is the best combination of words I had ever heard in my life. I had to pull over the car and completely started bawling, crying on the side of the road, called my husband and I said, they got it, they got it all. And both of us just, it was that. We could finally have the emotion around it. We could finally breathe. And, and it was interesting that at that point was when the watershed of emotion came out. The goal for pediatric oncology research is to find more cures for more kids. And research is really the critical step to identifying therapies so that we can both improve outcomes for patients who we can't cure now and decrease late-term effects for patients who we are able to cure. So right now, our kids get chemotherapy and treatment that was developed for adults. They don't get it that's developed just for children. So the more childhood cancer research that we have, so they can be specific to their small, tiny, growing brains and bodies, the better outcomes we can have for our kids. It's through research that we're gonna advance cures for children. And importantly, only 4% of federal cancer research dollars go towards pediatric cancer research. It was really exciting to me to hear about the partnership between the American Cancer Society and the St. Baldrick's Foundation. Both of these organizations do great work funding cancer research across the spectrum, and to hear that they were partnering specifically for awards dedicated towards pediatric cancer research was incredibly invigorating as a pediatric cancer researcher. Organizations like the American Cancer Society provide critical funding that is ultimately going to help save children's lives through the discovery of new therapies, new treatment approaches, and that is really what this is all about. I mean, the fact that we are able to say she's cured and not have these long-term damaging effects, we just feel so blessed. And I think we feel blessed because, you know, not everybody has Reese's story. And that's where we need the American Cancer Society and folks to step up in big ways for kids. Because every kid who has cancer should have Reese's story. They should be able to go live their life, you know? <laughs>